not always something you think about, but focusing on depth is a really important element when you're fishing, especially when you're indicator or a nymph rig fishing, where you've, you're, you're trying to figure out the column of water that those trout are lying in. And you got to be able to switch up sometimes. Threw a lot of casts out there. Had a few pull downs. I was hook and bottom. I had the right depth because I was hook and bottom once every other cast, bar barely hook and bottom. So my depth was perfect. But that's not where the fish were at. They're suspended. So usually you start shallower and then work deeper. And this time I started the correct depth, but then I started thinking it's raining, their PMDs are getting ready to hatch, those fish are moving up to the head of the run, they're suspended waiting for the bugs to float right to them. So I actually moved the indicator down as we talked about earlier with the, bo the, rob the bobber stoppers, moved it down to a foot above my weight. So I was nowhere near hitting bottom and uh, the first or second cast doing that I hooked into that nice fish. So don't get stuck in a box thinking your indicator has to be the perfect depth, it just has to be the correct depth. Sometimes don't overthink that. That was Tim Fox. He's the owner of Mr. Fox Outfitters. He's a guide on Northern California on the Sacramento River. He does walk and wade as well as drift boat on the river and he is a fantastic resource. Tons of information and a really fun guy to be out there with. Let us know. We'll put you in touch with him if you want to guide up there in Northern California and we'll see you right here next time on the Backcast.